Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this video, I'm going to show you how I shortened the shift rod and made a coupler to adapt to the Subaru transmission. Check it out. We're going to pull the boot up, and I want to get this centered. That way, I can make a mark at the shift coupling. Here's the shifter coupling right here from the Volkswagen. I'm going to scribe a line right here because this is at the end of this. Now we're going to remove this unit off the rod. Now to be able to access this bolt or nut, whatever it is, you're going to have to pull the shifter out. Once that's out, this can rotate. Let's see if this pops off. I think this is just spinning, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right, cool. So, it's a crazy looking bolt. What I did was I wedged, you see how it's kind of got a U shape? Uh, let's see, there we go. I kind of wedged it up against the, the metal part of the car to kind of hold it because I didn't feel like going and getting a wrench and I was really lazy. Okay. That's what I did. I'm not sure if it'll work for you, but it worked for me. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do, I've got my, my hand on the rod where the sh shift coupler was, and you're gonna wanna rotate it to the right, and push it as far as you can. Just gotta finger it until you get it off of there. All right, so. Here we are at the front of the car. It, right here, in the beam. There's a little cover that pops off of here. I already have it off. Then what you want to do is reach in there and grab it. Huh. All right, so I don't know what happened, but it's coming out. All right, so there's another hole in the front of the ride. And this all fits through. Sorry for the crappy camera angles, but whatever. Here's the Subaru shift coupler. Not sure if, I think it's this part number right here and down on the bottom that I used. It was like 25 bucks or 30 bucks or something. But, uh, boom, all right. So, kind of what I see it online, Subaru Gears website, they're kind of suggesting to cut this at an angle, that way it can rotate to a 90 degree angle. Right now it's, it can't. So that's something we're gonna have to do, but let's see what we can come up with. Let's pull these bushings out. That's kind of something I'm shooting for. Also gonna cut off this crap. Get a lot more out of it. So here's the line we scribed and I was planning to run it pretty flush with this but this shaft that goes into this piece uh, we can actually cut that back I don't know maybe like quarter inch half inch but for now we're just gonna make a another mark onto here and then the measurement that we find out over here we're gonna add that to this to bring it this way and then that's where that's gonna go. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna grind this down so we can pull this out. That way, throwing this into the car, it'll be a little easier to just put an end on each piece and then th toss a bolt into it. Right now, the way it sits is kind of hard to fit in there. We have the white trash lathe ready to rock and roll. The variable speed drive is ready to go. We just got to turn this deal in to get the speed that we want. Then we're going to hit this with the grinder while it's rotating and we're going to make this the same OD as the shift tube thing. All right, let's machine it. So when you're machining these, the key, it's all about speed. 
Hey, right, too fast, too slow. I don't know what I'm doing. We're just gonna make this smaller. Whatever. I'm an idiot. I plugged in the drill, but I didn't plug in the grinder because I only routed one extension cord. And so we ended up having to get a three-way and not one of the cool ones. Oh yeah, it's hot. We're just gonna mock this up. Um, the little shift bushing where the shifter goes into is centered in the hole. And we're just gonna go from end to end here. Um, that first cut on the shift tube was just a rough cut. I'm seeing, it, seeing we need inch and three quarters cut off of this tube to be able to bring this back to be able to mate up to this. But I also want to have a little bit of uh, play in it. So um, let's add three quarter. I think three quarter would be good. So I decided to go two inches. One side of the shift coupler has a smaller hole than the other side. We're going to drill this out to a 3 8 and it should be pretty close to the other side. Trying to make this fit up, uh, I've taken the rod and put it in and out many times found out that my e-brake tubes are interfering with the rod location. Um, so that's why I can't bring this to, to meet up with these two holes on the, this coupler. Bring it down about an inch. And I think that's going to work for my setup. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this weld off and we're going to shift this whole tab down an inch because I need this to sit down an inch lower from center to center. So we're just going to hack this off. Boom. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. I've got something coming up here in a bit that's going to talk about what I'm using for all the radiator crap, uh, how I'm going to do the coolant crossover, and all that other stuff. So if you'd like to see it and get a notification of that, hit that subscribe button, and maybe like a couple of my videos. It helps out with the YouTube algo. Boom.